Before installing Matilda, we'll make sure that we've installed Apache, PHP, and MySQL or MariaDB. Also, we want to make sure that we have installed PHP prerequisites needed. Matilda calls upon some libraries that don't come with the default version of PHP, but they're included in the PHP project. To make sure we have these libraries installed, we'll do an app get update. To make sure we have these libraries installed, we'll do app get update. This will allow our operating system to make sure it has a list of the latest software available. And then we'll use app get install. To install all of these libraries. The libraries we need are curl, we also need mbstring, and we also need the XML library. Notice that the general syntax is PHP, the version that you have installed of PHP, dash, and then the name of the library. In our case, we have PHP 7.2 installed, so we've installed a 7.2 version of all these libraries. Apt indicates that we already have all of the libraries installed. If we hadn't, it would have installed them, and then return back to the prompt. If you're not sure which version of PHP you have installed, you can use PHP version, and you'll see the version displayed here. Another prerequisite that we've already done is to make sure that the root password to the database is Matilda. Now we're ready to install Matilda. We're going to change into the var www.html directory where Apache keeps its files. We're going to put the Matilda project in a folder in this directory. To get the link, we're going to go to the website, click on the Git tab, and we're going to copy the command to clone this website. We're going to do sudo and then paste this command. The last parameter is the folder that's going to be created. We want this folder to be called Matilda. So now our command is ready to run and the Git program will clone or copy the contents of the project's repository into the folder named Matilda. If the folder Matilda doesn't exist, it'll create it. When we're done, we can list the contents of the directory and see the folder. We can also list the contents of the folder itself and see the files. We're ready to browse to the Matilda website. We're going to go localhost slash and the name of the folder. Hit enter, and the website comes up. We want to make sure the database is built. So the first thing we're going to do is click on Reset Database. This will cause the database tables to be created. And when this is done, we can click OK. If you think an error has occurred, then hit Cancel and just scroll down through the verbose output. Doesn't appear to be any problems. We'll continue back to the home page. And we've installed Matilda.